Hi everyone, how are you all doing? So today I am going to share poha recipe with you all. The ingredients are peas, capsicum, you can take any vegetables of your choice. I am taking, other than that I am taking corns. I will be boiling them later. I have some chopped onion and tomato. I have peanuts, some cilantro, I have thick poha, I have salt, black salt, turmeric powder, chaat masala. So first I am going to boil the peas and corns in water. So when the corns rise up it means the corns and peas they have boiled nicely. Meanwhile I have also soaked the thick poha in water. I have washed and soaked it. I will not soak it for more than 2 minutes so that it's fluffy. So here the corns and peas are boiled. So now I am going to drain them. So here they are ready to be used in poha. So let's start cooking. So in a pan I have taken some oil. I will be adding chopped onions, capsicum and peanuts. I have drained the poha. I'll let it sit for one to two minutes. This is how it looks. So now I'm going to stir the vegetables in the pan and adding tomato and green chili. I'm not going to cook the onions and capsicum so that it's super soft. I want it to be a little crunchy and that's why I've added the tomatoes early. Um, now I'm adding salt and turmeric powder. I do not use any other rice spice in the poha or in this breakfast recipe. Now I'm adding drained corns, peas and poha. It's a very simple recipe, not takes much than uh, more than five minutes. So I'm going to stir it well so that all the water dries. Once that happens you would see the poha becomes fluffy and this is how it looks. So to serve if um, taken the poha in the serving pot to that I am going to add chaat masala and cilantro to garnish so it may it gives a really nice flavor to the poha so hit like if you liked this recipe comment down below and thank you for watching this video do click the subscribe button thank you all bye